and welcome to Cook 30 for Kids. I'm Chef Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand, and today I'm going to share with you some delicious food you can cook in your very own home kitchen. God wants us to have a life full of energy, abundance and vitality, and we can't have that eating junk food. So we're using whole food, healthy ingredients on Cook 30 for Kids. Speaking of which, we've got two fantastic people with us. Nori and Casty. welcome to Cook 30 for Kids. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. So it's great to have you. These guys are from Illinois, and um, we're just going to ask them some quick fire questions so you can get to know them at home. So first question for Cassidy, um, your favourite food? Tacos. Tacos? Pizza. Pizza, <laughs> okay. Cool. Favourite colour? Blue. Purple. Blue, purple. Uh, favourite subject at school? Math. Reading. Okay, and final one, well, your favourite sport? Volleyball. Volleyball? Basketball. Basketball. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Weren't they quick? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming along. We have Thank so much fun having. cooking today, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to be a great time. So what is on the menu? We have sweet potato hash platter with cream spinach, and for dessert, apricot bliss balls. Mmm. So before we get started, it's really important we, we get prepared. We don't just walk into a messy kitchen and start cooking. We've got a nice clear counter, chopping board, sharp knives, tray, uh, dishes we're going to serve from, pan on the stove, the oven's on, mm -hmm. blender's ready to go, ingredients out, and a great attitude, and we're mm -hmm. ready to cook. Yes. And all essential mm -hmm. ingredients. Mm -hmm. So to start with, we want to get the sweet potato into the oven really quickly, because that's the thing that's going to take the longest and hold us up. I love sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> great. So Cassie, I'll get you to cook, to cut these. So what we're going to do, just to, to, we're going to cut the ends off like that, and we're just going to cut them into little kind of round bits like that. And then we're going to just put them into little dices. So you can do two at a time and just do that. And just make little diced um, sweet potato. Do you think you could do that? Of course. Can Let's you eat sweet potatoes raw? Let's have a look. Grab one and try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you too, Nori? <laughs> what do you mm, think? Those are really good. They are, aren't they? They're mm -hmm. actually better mm -hmm. cooked, but um, we actually serve um, a salad with grated um, butternut in, in one of my cafes. So there are actually some root vegetables that you can actually um, have raw. Mm. Okay, so there you go. So if you can do this, do that, do that the same thing with um, those guys there. And there why do you cut the ends off? Um, because the ends are a little bit kind of. They don't present that well, so they kind of just oh. a little there. So try and do one at a time. Oh, when, you, when you're chopping, I'll show you a little trick. So when you go, so you want to slide the knife through, okay? Slide. So let the so you kind of pressure down and slide through like that. Um, if you just go like down, it's really hard. So it's much safer and easier if you just glide the blade through with kind of the pressure going down. So see if that technique helps. Okay. Oh. Cool. Yep. Really, you'll get used to it. Just. And with sharp knives, it's a really good skill to use at home if you want to, to use to learn sharp knives, but make sure your parents to supervise and show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. so you're getting better all the time. Um, yeah, so give it a go, but yeah, safety first, of course. Lovely. Um, Cassidy, if you can grab some parchment paper out. Sorry, Nori. Mm -hmm. um, grab some parchment paper there, that mm -hmm. little roll of stuff, and put it on this tray here. Okay. And using parchment paper just helps with cleanup, and it just uh, minimises the chance of things sticking. Yeah. That's brilliant. So going well. You can just do one, one at a time if you want. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I know how to do this. Oh, yep. So it's got a little bit of, bit of a... a um, mm -hmm. Pull it out for a bit more. Pull it out. And then just rip it off. Just pull it, oh, I'll show oh. you. <laughs> yeah, so just, just pull it down like that, and it tears off like that. There's a little blade on the end. Oh, you make oh. it seem so easy. <laughs> <laughs> so put it upside down on there so it doesn't kind of... Put, put it the other way so it doesn't roll up. Like, oh, sorry, oh this that way. way yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of other ways. That's mm -hmm. great. And we're cutting the sweet potato really, really finely because we want it to cook really quickly. Um, we've got half an hour to do this program, so we don't want to... The bigger you cut things, the longer it takes. If we put one of these guys in the oven, it probably might take... 30, 40 minutes for it to kind of get soft. So these oh, soft wow. ones will be really, really good. They have so, so much colour. Exactly. So Cassidy, if you want to probably put them on the tray while, while she's going, you can kind of slide them on. If you're Nori, if you want to mm -hmm. slide them on there. So we've got that underway really well. So does it, can it just be, or you yep, want to Yep, so you can actually apart? slide it all in one hit if you like. Oh, okay. There you go. So sweet potato as a vegetable is really yummy when it's roasted because it kind of gets mm. really soft and really nice. Sounds um, good. You can also boil it as well, um, that's, that's fine as well, but roasting is probably my favourite way to have this type of vegetable. That's mm. great progress here, so if you want to sweep it off onto there. Should I put more? Okay. Yep, put it onto there. And mm -hmm. I'll just chop an onion here as well, show you how to do that. So we've got a, one big large red onion, 
And we're going to leave these pieces relatively large. So we're going to just chop it into kind of cubes. Do you not peel it? Um, these kind of come from the supermarket already kind of pre-peeled. So, oh. so like that. So um, Cassidy, if you want to do the other one like that. So just again, make sure your knife is travelling through the, um, right, so the onion. Slice it through. So slice so it long. Yep. Colors. Nice big, big, bigger, 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 right. bigger, 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 bigger. Yes, <laughs> cool. Because what happens when it's roasting, it will shrink down. So you want to start off larger, and you kind of so you get some really nice that. chunks. And the reason we're using red onion, why would that be? For more color. More color, <laughs> exactly. So we've yeah. got some really lovely colors here. Brilliant. Because there's there. two types of onions, I think. Yeah, there's right? oh, there's there's lots of lots of types of onions. So mm. put that on there. And if you can oh, just, um, okay. we'll spray on some um, olive oil. So if you can just give a really healthy spray of that evenly over it all. Over this? Yep. And the good thing about wow. using a spray is that you're going to get even coverage. So, Like this? Yep, yep. Keep going. <laughs> Make sure you get it on there, not on the bench. Yep. Keep going. <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Cool. And we're also going to add some salt. So if you can add some, some salt on there as well, add that half teaspoon there. If you can just put that over gently. We'll probably do a little bit more oil. So sad. A bit of it. <laughs> Can you feel the onions there? Yes. Give it a mix just around. Sprinkle it over. So you have to sprinkle it over evenly over everything. Oi. Yep, cool. Yeah. It evenly. It is cool, lovely. Uh. Brilliant. So just a bit of salt and oil will make these just taste amazing. Let's give another bit of an oil spray. So, so why do you put so much oil? It's actually not much. You're actually not spraying it very much oh. at all. It's only very minor amounts, but it's nice and even, which is the important part. So mm. that's going in the oven as quick as we can, because this is what we're going to be waiting on later. So we want to get that under and cooking. Mm. So and first like job, you can, yep, have a clear bench. That's brilliant. So first job is done. Yay. So now we're going to make some um, cream spinach. Ooh. Do you guys like spinach? Um, yes. Cooked. Cooked. <laughs> 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 exactly. So we've got some spinach here in the freezer. And I'm going to use frozen spinach. And if you can open those packets, see if you can figure out how to get the child lock off. Okay. There should be some perforations there somewhere. If you look carefully. Oh. Up in Wait, here. What? <laughs> oh, look at that. Got them. I don't see what? fish away, but it's got it open anyway. So oh. we're going to put this in this pan. We're going to oh. heat this up really hot. All of it? Yep, all of it. Okay. See, when you cook this, it's going to it's going to really wilt down I can't quite get a lot. It. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> I can't get yours either. Ah. You always use a knife. That's the last resort. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it, cut it there. So yeah, so spinach is a really healthy dish, but it's nice and green. It's going to look really nice on this Coomera hash Oi. platter. Ooh. Got it open. Excellent. Yep, yeah, pour it in there. So we're just going to let this heat, so we've got it on high heat, so after about probably five or six, a couple mm -hmm. of minutes, this will become really, really, um, it'll kind of get wilted down and get kind of cooked and become a, a much, much kind of a darker green as well. So, so do you put anything on it? And that's what we're about to do. Oh. So we're going to make it kind of creamy. So by itself, would that taste nice? Mm, no. Pretty average really. <laughs> you need to add a few flavours to it. So we're going to, um, I'll just put this in here, we'll come back and just stir it occasionally. So. Um, Nori, that can be your job, your job occasionally. Just have a look and just give it a quick stir every now and again. Okay. As it gets hotter, that'll become it'll start cooking faster. Mm -hmm. And over here, we're going to make a, um, a really nice cream to go with it. Ooh. So, we're going to put in. If you can put in a cup of cashew nuts. So we've got a cup measure somewhere. Here we go. That's a half a cup one. I'll get you a cup measure. And I'll get. Do I pour it? Sorry. Yep. Pour just pour it in. Okay. And I'm going to get a cup, two cups of water. And put it in the blender. We're going to make it like a really oh. nice creamy mixture to go with the spinach. Can I put this in the blender? Put it in the blender. And we're also going to use these um, uh, nutritional yeast flax, which is a really... Have you tried this before? I don't believe so. I have. have a smell. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Have you ever smell? Have you smelled it before? Mm. So it's kind of got like a cheesy, cheesy kind of flavour to it without using cheese. So we're going to put in three tablespoons of that on there. And yeah. what flavour is that? It's or kind of like a... Do you want to try a little bit? Just try a bit. It's, it's kind like of like a kind of a cheesy flavour. Yeah. It's quite interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. Come wash your hands out, yep. So that's a really nice thing to add to that. I'm also going to add some whole grain mustard, just Ooh. to kind of add a little bit of extra flavour with it here. So put about two tablespoons on there. And that's probably enough there. Oh, do we have salt? Add a little salt. bit of salt. 
We're just using it. We were, there we go. I'll just put about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. And if you can find the lid and put it on high and blend it. Lid. Oh, where's the this lid? It's cooking. Oh, here it is. I, I, put the lid, I just put the lid randomly everywhere. So put it on high and blend that away. So how's this coming it? on? It's going Sorry? good. Can I hold the lid? You shouldn't need to. It should, um, if it starts jumping around, you might need to. <laughs> Whoa. So you want to blend it really, really well so it becomes a nice, creamy kind of a milky thing. You don't want water and kind of cashew pieces, so you want about probably 20 or 30 seconds. Here we go. Coming on well, look at that. Beautiful. Probably about done, I think. Let's have a look. What's inside? <laughs> oh, there we go. And it looks like milk. Yep, just like a nice, a really, really creamy cashew milk. So, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to drizzle that over the spinach when that's kind of warm through. Oh, okay. It'll be a really nice addition to our dish. What do you think? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm just going to park it over here. So we're doing a few jobs now that we don't need to do just yet. But because we've got spare time with the sweet potato cooking, there's other things we can be doing in the kitchen, So, mm. which is great. So next job is we can move on to dessert. Ooh. So we've got apricot <laughs> bliss balls. So um, bliss balls is kind of like a, a truffle or a, like kind of a round kind of a thing of fruit mixed with fruit and nuts. So we're going to make some. Oh, yeah. So what we need is a, a food processor. And again, all we do is just fire nuts and fruit into here. Oh, wow. So um, again, uh, Cassie, if you can put in um, a cup of almonds and then a, sorry, sorry, half a cup of almonds <laughs> and half a cup of cashews. And then we're going to put in a cup of dates and apricots <laughs> into and there. <laughs> yep. And, and that, half of that, brilliant. Now, I actually make a product when in the cafes. We used to make this product called Bliss Balls and they used to sell out every day. Really? And my staff got sick of making all of the, um, uh. Bliss, ball, all of the Bliss Balls all the time. We kept on breaking blenders. So I had a friend who said, Look, I, I could make a machine to that. Yep, put that in. Is that a half cup or a cup? It's half. So you want a cup of, cup of dates? Okay. Uh. That's cool. So he made a machine to make, to make Bliss Balls. And we end up with a product that we now sell in New Zealand and America called Fruise Balls. Have you guys seen these yet? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so oh, they're basically, basically they're the exact product we're making today and rolled up into a little paddock, a product called Fruise Balls. So look out for them and you may see them in your shop. So really, really good to, um, to eat. So that's so just the kind of an idea of how, you know, something in a cafe that's too hard to make turns into a new business idea. So it's really, really exciting. And um, Miss, Miss Brenda said I could, um, wanted to show you everyone because they were her favourite little snack at the moment. So oh, yeah. It's <laughs> great. So how did you come up with the idea for those? Um, basically, people wanted more of them, we couldn't make them, so we've made a machine to make them. So. Oh, wow. oh, wow. And if you package them up really nicely, then supermarkets will want to sell them, which is yeah. great. <laughs> I can't wait to taste them. They're great. Mm -hmm. um, alrighty, so we've got how much in here? One cup of dates and a half a cup of almonds. So now we need a cup of apricots and half a cup of cashews. So generally the ratio, as a general rule of thumb, is two thirds fruit and one third nuts. So oh. if you can remember that. As a, as a starting point, they can be very, very different. That's just a good place to start. Get it out there, is it coming out? Aye. So these are Turkish apricots, which are the sweet variety. Yep, ah! that should be great. Did right, I man? wash this? It kind of fell. Uh, and then... Fell on the bench, it's okay. As long, hmm. as, long as it didn't fall on the floor. Okay. So is that coming along well? Look at that, is it getting, mm -hmm. getting um, broken down there? They're still mm -hmm. yeah. frozen, so it's going to take a while. Yeah, and then a half a cup of... Cashew nuts. Um, so we're using um, raw cashew nuts and raw almonds, but equally you can make a different flavour one if you wanted to use roasted Ooh, almonds and roasted cashew, cashew nuts. They actually taste a very different flavour as well. So we make a, a peanut fruise ball, a banana <laughs> fruise ball, an apricot one, a cranberry oh. one, and an original one made with yeah. carob. So there's lots of different um, flavours. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the cashews? They're amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're really nice creamy nut, aren't they? There we go. Those Ooh. ingredients in there. So, a lot of colour. Exactly. Yeah. So, Cassidy, if you want to press the on button, you mm -hmm. might need to hold it down when it's going. This? Yep. So, just, um, there you go. Oh, Look yeah. at that. It's going away. So, it'll take about probably 30 seconds to a minute. It's going there. Look really, really fast. Looking good. <laughs> well, that's going. Is this coming along? Mm -hmm. Is it ready to go yet? No, it still needs a little bit longer, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit more. Exactly. We resist the temptation to add water because if you add water to this, it's just runny stuff that's going to go over the plate. Yeah, so it won't soak in. Um, well, if you add, it's just you want you want the water to come out. 
Oh. In dishes, if you have too much water floating around, it just kind of oozes over the plate and doesn't look good. So oh, okay. we want to kind of get the water to come out, keep it as dry as possible, and then we're going to add the creamy stuff later. Mm. Looking good. Is How's this enough? going here? I think so. Push off. Oh, yep, looking pretty good. There we go. Um, I think that's ready to go. So we'll take this off. Oops, sorry. Just undo it like that. And all we're going to do now is roll it into balls. Now I'll take the blade out. Oops. <laughs> um, I've cut myself, my finger on the blade getting bliss balls out of oh a no. machine with the blade before, oh so no. take it out first. So it was actually on the last episode of Cook 30 I did, <laughs> and no one even noticed, but uh, so you've got to be safe. So if you can just, um, we're going to get some coconut, and we've got some, where we go, unsweetened coconut here. I think I've got some fine stuff somewhere. Is this the, I think this is the stuff I've got. Mm. So we just need to find a little bowl to put it in that we can dip it in. And when you get coconut from the supermarket, watch for stuff that's full of full of sugar. You can buy some coconut from the supermarket, it's like 50% sugar. So if you've just joined us today on Cook 30 for Kids, we are cooking up a storm in the kitchen mm -hmm. with Cassidy and Nori from <laughs> Illinois. What's on the menu, guys? Today we have a sweet potato hash platter with cream spinach. And for dessert, apricot bliss balls. Mmm, that sounds so good. We're making excellent progress here in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Having fun, guys? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's go with the bliss ball. So I'll just grab this plate over here. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice stick with the plate. So, Kirsten, if you can just roll these up. So just basically grab a grab some of these and just, just roll it into a ball probably around about. Ooh, it's sticky. <laughs> it is. It's good. About that kind of shape. And we'll just kind of just give it a bit of a tip in some coconut. Like that. So if you can just make a hundred of those. Uh, uh. <laughs> or however, uh, many, okay. however many it makes. More and food. back to the spinach. <laughs> okay, you can uh, pour the pour the milk in now. Yeah. So this is this flavoursome cashew milk. You want we've to made. this off? Get pour the lid off. It's gonna make it easier to pour the lid off. Mm -hmm. Just pour it over. Da -da -da -da. Great, just mix it around and stir it around. We may need to add wow. more water, depending on how it goes. So give it a good stir around, and then it's going to really flavour that spinach oh, to make it lovely and creamy. So good. You know that's going to taste good, don't you? Mm -hmm. So give it a bit of a stir around, that's wonderful. So the balls are underway there. So I now need to get some um, the kumara, the sweet potato, I call it kumara where I come from, so sweet oh. potato kumara, call them both things, out of the oven. And I think this would be cooked by now. Whoa, yeah, this nice and hot. Out. Oh yeah. So this stuff here is all lovely and um, Ooh, lovely and cooked oh, wow. like this. So good. just a bit of oil and the salt will make them taste mm. really good. It smells amazing. It does. <laughs> so I'll just give you a little bit of room there. I'm just going to let these guys come off here into the pan. So the hash is basically just a big kind of mandolin jumble and just a big kind of hash of just some lots of really yummy things. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what's the exciting thing about it is. So I'll get this in here. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah, it does. And we're going to add lots of yummy flavours to it, so I'll put this over here. Oh, this is put actually soaking in to this. It is, look at that, it's good, eh? Mm -hmm. So grab wow. a spoon and try some. Ooh. Is it want to be tasting. high? Uh, yeah, but just be tough. <laughs> You're in the kitchen here. Mmm, so it's nice and creamy. Do you want to try some, Kirstine? Sure. Mmm, yeah. that tastes nice really up. good. So yeah, just really nice creamy spinach that's going to really go with this nicely. So we're gonna, mm. we'll leave it in the pan now just to keep it warm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add some other, other really yummy ingredients. So you can turn the gas off there, mm -hmm. on the side there. And we're going to add some other things. We're going to add some, um, oh, we need to cook something else. So get some a pan out. We're just going to cook up some. You need help? I'm sure. Some oh, red beans. <laughs> so just to go with it as well, just give a bit of protein. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put this on the gas on this one here. Mm. And we're just going to open a can of red beans and pour them in. Great work on the balls there. So I'm just going to drain out the, the juice of the red kidney beans. So your cafe, where did you get the motivation to start that? Well I kind of, I worked for, I had a big corporate job in marketing and oh. one day I kind of just wanted an adventure. I loved health, I loved cooking, so I thought why not start a cafe? Um, my wife and I went to a health retreat and we got inspired and kind of put it all on the line to start one. Wow, that's good. And we've good. kind of never looked back since. 
So yeah, it's very exciting. So I encourage anyone, if you've got kind of an adventure or a dream you ever want to do, you just got to just do it basically. Yeah. And the first few years were really, really tough. Mm -hmm. Nearly went under a few times, but stuck at it. A lot of prayer, a lot of faith, and um, came through. And it's been a yeah, great adventure. Oh, yeah. That's really good. And from that, obviously, I've done cookbooks and the fruise ball. So a lot of things kind of stem out of it. So it's very exciting. Mm. So um, some flavors in here. So we're going to start adding some things like some olives. So do you guys like olives? Oh, yeah. The only black olives. Olive black <laughs> olives, OK. Those so we've got some Kalamata ones here. So I'll just actually I'll put the spinach in here now. So we've kind of got a bit of a, mm. a kind of a platter of just yumminess happening here. So we're just going to pour that in there. So wow. kind of half of it is going to be the... That looks so good. <laughs> they're going to be the spinach and half of it, well, probably a third, two, th one third, two thirds. Just kind of put it out there. And you want to let things fall naturally. You don't want to kind of play with it too much. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we're missing some here. There we go. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Mm. <laughs> I've just got these beans here as well. They're kind of getting warm there. Um, so I'm just going to add some olives. So I'll just drain these ones out. And just going to put them around the place. Just going to put just kind of a cluster of olives around there. So do black olives and green olives taste the same? Uh, very different. There's lots of different types oh. of olives. So you kind of want to try lots of the different types. There you go. And we've got some artichokes. You guys tried artichokes before? I've never tried nope. them. I don't think I have. Until <laughs> now. So try, try oh a little bit of this. Oh my goodness. So these are actually in oil, so we'll drain them out of the oil, but try a little bit of that and see what you think of is that. Is it like a vegetable? It is, is it yeah, it's like a big flower. Oh my goodness. How's it taste? What do you think? It tastes interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna drain these, drain all the oil out, and we're just gonna just put these in and just sprinkle them over the top of the spinach here. Oh. Just, oh, there's a little bit of extra juice there. Add it off. Just to give it's it a really bit of extra flavor. <laughs> So these artichokes will be really yummy. So as you can see, this is just going to become a lovely combination of lots of different vegetables. And colours. And mm -hmm. colours, exactly. Um, we'll add some cherry tomatoes. So if you guys can just um, chop up, or perhaps Cassidy, if you want to just chop up some cherry tomatoes. So we just want to mm -hmm. chop them into half. That's probably a good knife to use there. So probably about 10 of each, each tomato. And we'll put them on there as well. Um, we're mm -hmm. going to add some, some lime juice, just because we can, and lime juice adds extra flavour. <laughs> so I'm going to add just some quarters of some limes. And these will look really good as a garnish on the side here as well. So I've never really understood the difference between limes and lemons. Um, very, very <laughs> similar, but they just have a different flavour. Limes are kind of... You've tried both? Yes. They're kind of just, I suppose, dif different. Different flavours. Limes have probably got a stronger flavour. Oh, yeah. Um, but I just use them interchangeably, or they're really good in dressings and things. Just a little bit of tartness often balances off um, some sweetness and things. So it's a really good, you kind of want to have, you know, tartness, sweetness, and, you know, um, s saltiness and yeah. kind of sweetness. So they kind of, it just kind of balances off things really nicely in meals. They're very good in dressings. Mm -hmm. oh. So we've got these beans here. So we're going to get these beans and just put these just through the middle here, just on the side. Ooh. Just to mm. add a bit of protein. So we've done nothing with these. These are just basic beans. There's kind of enough flavours floating around in all the other things. There's enough saltiness happening. So we don't need to add huge flavour to everything. Mm -hmm. And same with the tomatoes. We're just going to just sprinkle them on and they will just taste really nice and obviously add lots of colour. Uh -huh. How the tomatoes going. Look at that. Oh, you've stacked them up beautifully with each of their partners there. <laughs> Do you like there. tomatoes, Kathy? Yeah. I'll turn one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just drizzle that over like that. That's probably enough there, I think. Just to chop that last one. Okay. And that's looking good. Have we, have we missed anything? It's about now I for forget something. But I think we've used all the ingredients we have on the, mm -hmm. on the counter here. Oh. I'll turn it all off. Oh, that's good. And to finish it off, just some macadamia nuts. Oh, can Ooh. you grab some cilantro nori from the refrigerator? Yeah, on the top sure. right, there's a drawer that comes out. I'm going to add a sprinkle of macadamia nuts, just mm. to add it just to something a little bit of extra special. That looks so good. <laughs> and you've never seen vegetables taste so good before, this kind of a platter. <laughs> I just think this is it. I think you got it right. Let's have a look. Unwrap it. Wrap herbs in um, paper, wet paper towel, and they end up um, mm -hmm. kind of staying fresh for longer. So Ooh. just a sprinkle of that on top, and we have finished our delicious meal. That looks mm. so meal. good. <laughs> And there you have in just 30 
small minutes, we have this incredible blend of flavours with the sweet potato, the creamy spinach, the beans, the mm -hmm. olives. Mm. What do you think? Incredible and colourful. Mm. Great. Nora, can you say grace for us? Yeah, of course. Dear precious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Just please help this food to strengthen our bodies and just thank you for it. And bless the people that don't have any. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, I'll do a big spoonful, see if I can get all the different flavours in Ooh. one spoonful. Some for you, some for you here. Here we oh, go, wow. a bit more there, and some for me. Mm, so as you can see, this so is good. really, really simple. Just all these, this amazing blend. Mm -hmm. It just mm. tastes, what does it taste like? Mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's great. And these bliss balls are really cool too. Mm -hmm. Just fruit and nuts, a really, really healthy way to have dessert. Better than usually having chocolate or ice cream or something like that, just some simple fruit and nuts. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next time on Cook 30 for Kids! <laughs>